Hello everyone and welcome to this live stream and welcome to round two of the YouTube Cup and we are in Atlanta. Hello guys, happy birthday to Mr. Eric. Happy birthday Eric, hope you're well. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you all in the chat. My, uh, oh, sorry about that guys. My uh, microphone nearly went then. Oh, we do like things going live, don't we? Things go wrong. Anyway, back to the race. As you know, if you uh, finished in first, you start at the back. If you finish last, you start at the front scenario. So Drift Gamer starts on pole. T. Smith, second. HCG in third. Justin Hogfell, I think it is, is in fourth. Kylo in fifth. And uh, a few others there. There's Sonic for Life, The Guy, Jensen, Freddy, Amy Lloyd in 10th position. Going down to the bottom. Uh, and it's uh, yesterday's winner, Scott Ultra at the back. Sienna Grace, myself, Lopez and Moa the back at the back five. They finished in the top five yesterday. So guys, without further ado, let's get this race underway. Drivers, start your... So we are well and truly underway for round two at Atlanta of the YouTube Cup. It's Drift Gamer who's on pole, finished last yesterday. Due to issues with the car, I think he had an accident, didn't he, or something? A bit slow out of the uh, pit lane there. Interesting to see what's going to happen. We've got some good drivers up at the front, we've got some good drivers up the back, we've got good drivers in the middle. This is what I like about doing it this way with the qualifying. You've got good drivers all over the place rather than just being at the front every single race. This is going to be the best gift i ever going to get. Thank you, Eric. I hope this is a good race for you. It's Atlanta. It's one of my favourite tracks. Let's hope it is. Let's hope you have as much fun as everyone else. Round two of the YouTube Cup coming soon. Here we go, pace car is about to go in, and unfortunately, uh, Berto, uh, there was a deadline to enter this, unfortunately. Here we go. Timmy the flag man waves his flag, and we are away for round two of the YouTube Cup. Let's get this race going. And there is your first lap complete. Lap two begins. And it's Drift Gamer who's still holding on to that pole position. Boogity, 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 Sonic says. Can Sonic get to the front this time? Sienna Grace at the back at the moment. Finished second yesterday. Such a close race yesterday. Three wide up the front into turn three. This could be interesting. They're getting rather close to the 33 and the 1 2 1. Oh. What do you think, what pit, uh, what lap do you think pits are going to be on? Put it down in the comments, guys. Don't forget, give us a like. That would really help me out. Give us a, a sub. And if you want, if you really want, help me out on Patreon, guys, because, you know, it does help. Someone um, joined my Patreon yesterday, so thank you very much uh, for that. That's really appreciative. It really helps get these videos going. helps get better products, better uh, microphones, better equipment. And gives me time to do this sort of thing. Look at Jensen Freddy coming up uh, into ninth position. I think he was in ninth anyway, wasn't he? Or tenth. Not much going on uh, around the track at the moment. We've got some free wides going on though. Let's uh, go around. Who's at the back? We've got Aubrey Scott at the back in 36th spot. Uh, Juan Lopez is in uh, 35th. 
Then we've got Daniel Bouchard in 34. There's Scott Ultra, yesterday's winner. Myself up there as well in 30. So we're moving forward. Yesterday's top five is moving forward, which is good. And there's Avadala in uh, 34th now, I think. Stuart Moore, another one who's moving up. Meadowbank. Uh, Ryan Durrani up to 22nd. Romeo Dunn. Brian Pierce is moving up. Miguel, the 1 2 3, moving up. He was on pole. Uh, no, he wasn't on pole yesterday. He was at the back yesterday, wasn't he? I do apologise. But we are getting some very, very close racing here at Atlanta. Bode de Frail in the 84. Cropley is in 12th place. Jensen Freddy now back down to 11th. So going back to the front. There's Amy Lloyd into 6th place. Sonic for Life has moved up to 4th. What a drive from the 39. Uh, Justin Hogfell in the 61. And it's Drift Gamer who's still leading us around. The Drift Gamer still leading us. Wow. You think that 12 to 16. Mm. Season 2. Let's get past Season 1 first, Berto. Get past this one. Let's see if this is successful. Maybe there won't be a Season 2. Who knows? Who knows? We've got the 80s Piston Cup Season 2. Hopefully. Drift Gamer holding on to this lead. Started from pole, but it's Sonic for Life who's coming up on the inside. Amy Lloyd in the middle. Is one of these cars going to take that 1-2-1 one, one out of first position? Looks like it. Looks like Sonic for Life is about to go into first. check that out Amy Lloyd just getting the nose in front of the 39 about to go into the lead on lap 9 steaming ahead the 56 lovely little move from Amy there she did uh, really well at the start of yesterday's race but seemed to mm, well, fall off the pace really that's why she started so low today on the grid uh, in uh, qualifying but today she has uh, gone to the front again once again Amy Lloyd up at the front Sonic for Life Drift Gamer all doing extremely well I'm guessing this race is going to be all down to pits and timing and all sorts we've had Drift Gamer oh and I heard a scratch then I heard someone touch I heard it but no yellow was brought out So here's the current standings on lap 11. Amy Lloyd is leading us around next to Sonic for Life. Then we've got Smithy in third, the guy fourth, Drift Gamer in fifth place. Any big movers? Jensen's fallen down to 13th. Um, look at Juan. He's moved up to 17th spot. Cracking drive from the 28. Brilliant drive. Sienna Grace uh, has moved up to 20th. Brilliant. Uh, myself, uh, down, still down at the back, not doing well really. Aubrey Scott still at the back, Bouchard, Percy Croker and Scott Ultra, last time's winner, still up the back of the grid. So uh, Scott Ultra not having the same race as he did yesterday, Amy Lloyd leading here at Atlanta.
Amy Lloyd still leading us around Sonic for Life all over next door though but look at this we are getting cars drifting away from the front pack are they uh, the top cars from yesterday that is the question drift game is still up at the front doing a cracking job we're at 14 not had much of a change at the front we are still seeing the same cars fight it out what i am expecting to see is things change when the pits start who's got the better pit stop who will get in who will get out quicker etc etc Will we still have the same leadership uh, when they come out of the pits? That's the question. So it's still Amy Lloyd leading us around. Lap 16 of 60. Controlling this race now. Took it from Drift Gamer. Now making a big gap. A big punch in the front of this grid. It's only Sonic for Life really who's given her a run for the money. As we come into turn 2 on our way to turn 3. Sonic for Life may have the edge on her on the inside here though. So we're still unawares of uh, pit stops and uh, cautions, none of either. No pit stops, no cautions. We are waiting for that opportune moment. I'm going to say lap 20 I think. They may go in. Maybe a free stop strategy. 20, lap 20, lap 40, maybe lap 50 something, maybe? Who knows? We've seen stranger things on here. We've seen people lap on lap 59, you know. We've seen people lap on the white flag before, haven't we, guys? So, you know, anything can happen. Don't be surprised if it does. Colin uh, Cropley's doing well in the middle there. Jensen Freddy's doing well. He's back up to 10th place into the top 10. Going down. Uh... Juan's in 15th, Sienna's in 17th. These are the top five from yesterday, really. Um, myself in 19th, so I've moved up a little bit. Uh, not amazingly, though. Um, but this is the whole point, you know. If you finish first, you start at the back, can you work your way back to the front? That's the question. Can these guys that finished in the top five yesterday work their way back to the front of the grid today? Do they have the cars to do it? That's the question. Everyone's got the same ratings at the moment, though. It's Amy Lloyd who is uh, leading this pack. Sonic for Life going up high there. I think now he's going to change tactics and go for that slipstream instead. Or are we going to have a round of pits? Nope, we're not. They still continue on into lap 21. So we'll have a look around the track uh, after the pit stops have happened. We just want to make sure that they're going to go in and see when they go in. I was wrong. I thought it would be lap 20. And it wasn't. It's Fiberfuel who's leading. Fiberfuel team will be impressed with this race today. Amy Lloyd at the moment getting the bonus points for the amount of laps led. Where is Amy? Is she in the chat? Not heard from Amy today. Sonic for Life goes up again. Doesn't want to get too close to that 56. Pacing himself, making that that chance for the opportune moment. Still no pits, lap 22, no caution. Everyone is being very, very well behaved out there. And I, uh, I'm guessing when they do decide to pit, that's when things are really going to change up. But look at this, Sonic for Life now getting that lead on lap 23 he never gave up he constantly 
constantly put pressure on the 56, but was it enough? Amy Lloyd goes back into the lead, down the back straight. She seems to have the power on the straight. Sonic for Life seems to have the power on the corners, on the turns. As again, they start another lap without pitting. Maybe they're on a two-lap strategy today. As you can see from the helicopter cam, the uh, cars at the front are pretty close. But look at that, Sienna Grace and myself back up into the top 10, as is Juan as well. Wow. From the back of the grid, these guys have come back to the front. The top five from yesterday coming back to the front of the grid. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? They are getting rather close, that, that back crowd, to the front of this grid. They're getting rather close to the other cars. Anything can happen. One little bad move and it will be game over. Amy Lloyd still leads. Oh, and there was touch there. I heard the metal crunch. There was definitely a touch. But still, we are on green. No yellow. No pits either. Lap 26. These guys are really pushing these cars today. Absolutely fantastic racing. Sonic for Life still second. Colin Cropley goes into third, though. Drift Gamer falling back to fourth place. Juan stuck in the middle of that crowd. Sienna Grace behind him. Myself stuck behind uh, the one, two, three of Miguel. Not being let past. Maybe we're waiting for pit stops to happen, which will give yesterday's leaners the opportune moment to jump in front of these guys. What a race this is becoming. We have got a race on. We've got a massive pack at the back that are struggling. And we've got these guys at the front who are doing extremely well. Side by side racing, Eric. Side by side. Lovely racing this from the front too. Lovely racing from that pack behind. And still, we go into lap 28 without a pit. So Sienna Grace and myself out of the top 10 now. It looks like we are having pits. Oh, we got a crash. We got a crash. We are under caution. We are under caution. And Sonic for Life goes into the pits as Amy Lloyd stays out. That could backfire for the 56. Oh, we had a big crash then. That could have taken a number of top people out. And I'm sure Juan was involved with that. Let's take a look. What happened? Oh, it's Colin Cropley. Oh, took, Jen took Jensen out. Oh, oh. Oh. That was not good. Oh, Jensen and Freddy still spinning. Oh, he gets a nudge from Juan. Jensen and Freddy not going to be happy. Oh, Juan getting smashed about again. Oh, what a shame. What a shame for the 28 and the 95. The 95 again being steamed out of a race, which was nothing to do with him. Second race in a row. Yesterday it was Hogfelt. Today it was Juan who took him out and Colin Cropley. Goes on here then, he comes around. Oh, he gets a nudge from the 84 of Bola. Oh, ouch. Oh, that's not good. I'm guessing Jensen Freddy will be out now of this race. As uh, everyone comes into pit lane. Let's take a look. So Jensen Freddy is out and so is Juan Lopez. Both out of the race. Both out uh, due to that accident. Jensen Freddy again out of a race. Uh, well, not out of the race. He wasn't out yesterday. Um, he did finish the race. But uh, he did get crashed out. Scott Ultra, yesterday's winner, out with a camshaft problem. He has gone. Wow, crazy how a race can change so quickly. A Amy Lloyd is technically still leading at the moment. 
at the moment. It's still only three have left us, unfortunately. It is uh, Scott Ultra, Jensen Freddy, and Juan Lopez who have all gone, unfortunately. And it's uh, Scott Ultra and Juan who were in the top five yesterday, both out of the race today. So it just shows what a difference a day can make. Not good. So after that round of pits and uh, Amy missing out on going into the pits, Colin Copley's still in it by the looks of me. I'm sure it's actually it's Sonic for Life who is leading now because he went in the pit straight away as that accident happened. Perfect timing for the 39. What a move. Yes, it is. It is Sonic for Life. What a move from the 39 team. Well done, the Viewzine. Brilliant. As soon as that crash happened, they must have said to him in his ear, pit now, pit now, pit now, and he did. Absolutely incredible. As uh, Amy, who's been leading this race for so long, now in 10th position. So let's take a look at the grid before it restarts. So it's Sonic for Life, the guy, Abadala, Hogfelt, uh, Thomas, Cropley, Percy, Jones, B, and Lloyd in the top 10 now. Uh, who will restart this race and if you've just joined us we are under caution and it's uh, Scott Ultra, Jensen Freddy and Juan Lopez who are out from this race today. We are under yellow. We've got uh, exactly 29 laps to go. Not sure when we're going to restart, maybe lap 33. Yeah, just think, Juan, you may start at the back of the grid. Um, at the f uh, sorry, you may start at the, at the front of the grid tomorrow, so that will give you a full full load of space to get to the to win the race tomorrow. And we are not under caution anymore, so we will restart on lap 33. Uh, was that who, who emailed? I can't remember what the email was about, Scott. I'm throwing my TV out of the window. Oh, don't throw it out the window. Sell it. Make some money. Buy some more car stuff. That's the bat markers. I think it's just one bat marker by the looks of it. Let's have a look. Two bat markers, the 84 and the 54. I'm not sure where the 54 is, but. Three cars out of the race. So we're left with 33 cars here. And it's Sonic for Life who made a fantastic move into pit lane just as that crash happened. He knew the yellow was coming. Or well, the team knew the yellow was coming. And they took him into the pit lane. Now he has first spot and a fast car. He has been at the front of this race the whole race. Not in first, but in the uh, top three. So he is doing pretty, pretty well, I'm going to say. This guy could win here today. Could be the 39's day. So we are about to get underway. Pace car goes in. Sonic for Life is going to get us underway. Timmy the Flagman, do your job, do your thing. And he does it without any issues at all. We are back in the race. Lap 33. Wow, did anyone see the 54 then? Jeez. Someone put a rocket up his bum. Christ, did he move. Never seen a car move that quick. But Sonic for Life, who leads us around now at Atlanta, round two of the YouTube Cup. 54 is about to get lapped again by the looks of things. He can't unlap himself. This is Sonic for Life's race, I believe. Look at the distance he is making. Wow, the 76 has got nothing on that 39. Oh, yeah, I saw that email. Yeah, just put me down for any number you want. I really don't mind, honestly. 
I don't care. Any number would do. Ooh, so, where are we at? We are with Sonic for Life, who is leading us around at Atlanta. The guy in second, Abadala third, Hogfelt uh, fourth, sorry. Percy in uh, fifth, Thomas sixth, Jones in seventh, Cropley eighth, Joey B ninth, and Amy Lloyd uh, still in tenth place. Drift Gamer down in eleventh now. Amy Lloyd and Drift Gamer were fighting out for a long time, first and second. They're now in eleventh, uh, tenth and eleventh, so... What a big change there. Myself and Sienna down 14th and 15th spot. Down at the back, uh, obviously we've got these two on a lap down, but it's actually uh, Smith and Dunn who are at the back of the grid. We have had one caution. We've just restarted. And it's Sonic for Life who's leading this race. And actually, I'm going to say he's controlling it really, really well. Look at the distance he's making up. Free wide, free wide behind the 39. The 39 must be able to see that in his mirror. Well, it looks like the guy's coming up on the inside of Sonic for Life. Look at this. The 76 now putting his foot down. Justin Hogfelt there nearly power slided into, uh, I think, uh, the spare mint car was that, I believe. The 93. 39 still leads, though. The guy not having enough juice in that car to catch. The 39. Exciting race this. I can't believe Sonic for Life leading this race at the moment. 39 laps. The number 39 leads. We are 21 laps away from that chequered flag. I'm going to have to say this now, but them cars are driving pretty close together. One of them slips, and it's going to take the whole lot out. Be prepared, guys. Be prepared. Also, be prepared at the 68. Look at the 68 down the bottom there. Harry doing pretty well, boy. Look at that. Top five, I think, for you today. What a drive from the 68 to be in that position behind the guy. Goes up to fifth place. What a drive. What a drive. Let's have a look around the track then. And there's the pace car. We've got uh, Romeo Dunn. Then we've got these guys. We've got Kimberly Lopez at the back. Uh, Brennan. Then Bolo de Frail. Meadowbank. Uh, Reigns. Zachary Reigns. Uh, Charlie Croker. And then we've got Aubrey Scott. HCG down in 22nd. Brian Pearson 21st. Kylo Wren. Uh, Bouchard, Joey B. This is the top 20 now. Colin Cropley. We've got Jay Thomas. Kirk. Uh, myself in 14th. Not having a good season. Uh, Edward. Uh, then we've got Sienna Grace up in 11th. She comes second yesterday. Can she improve on that position? She's a bit stuck in the middle now. Uh, then we've got Durrani. Mike Jones in 8th. Drift Game is now 8th. I do apologise. Hogfout 6th. Uh, Eric is in fifth. Great driving from Eric. Abdullah's fourth. Harry Edwards is in third position. Fighting out with the guy and Sonic for life. Look at this. Three wide. Check this out. Into turn three, turn four. These guys are going for it at the front. Everyone wants to get points in the table.
Wow, and that was so close for Harry, nearly going into first place, but Sonic keeping that first spot as they now hit a back marker of the 33. They're getting really close to that wall. Wow, that was close. Now look at the 68. The 68 moving well ahead of Sonic for life, going past the 1, 2, 3. Or is it going to be the 1, 2, 3? Who's going to get the lead on lap 46? Who's it going to be? Miguel or Harry? Yes, it was Harry. Harry's in first officially. But it looks like Miguel is giving as good as he gets down in that 1, 2, 3. Look at that. The 1, 2, 3 in the lead now. We've had a change at the front. Sonic for Life got stuck behind the 33. Back marker. Things have changed. Things have changed up at the front. Wow, Drift Gamer coming back into this now, into 8th position. Uh, Sienna Grace has fallen back. Not sure she's going to get her second spot again like yesterday. But uh, Harry goes into the lead again, stays in the lead. Miguel trying his hardest to keep up with the 68. Hello, Ellie. Hello, Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Here he is. He's in the house. It's Ellie. The full-time pro, guys. He's a full-time gamer. Full-time YouTuber. Go check his channel out. Go subscribe. So look at this. Harry and Miguel up at the front. And now the 79's coming into this. Myself in fifth. Pretty happy with that, actually. Who is the 79? Oh, Eric. Ah, okay. So it's Eric who is... Up at the front. Oh, well, sorry, in second now. As uh, Miguel falls back a little bit. As Harry uh, takes uh, full, full frontal at the front. Eric now up on the outside. When are we going to have another round of pits? That's the question. When will second round of pits be? We pitted on the caution last time. Will they have an official round of pits or will someone spin out and will we have that caution come out again? Lap 49. Soon, we'll have 10 to go, guys. 10 to go. Who's going to be sponsoring the white flag today? Harry is now losing that first position. And look at Amy Lloyd. Amy Lloyd coming from 11, 10th place after that caution. She has come into this. Where did she come from? What a race from the 56. She's up to 4th. check it out on the uh, helicopter cam Sonic for Life is way back we've got six cars up at the front ten laps to go and we've got another round of pits I'm sure we're going to have another round of pits what is going to happen absolutely crazy Whoa, great driving from Harry coming up there. Still fighting off that 1, 2, 3. Myself coming up into this into third now. Ryan Durrani in the 92. Uh, Amy Lloyd's fallen back a little bit on this lap. 52 laps have gone. We are now into the dying laps. Eight to go. Yes, you missed a crash. It was a good crash. Unfortunately, we lost a couple of drivers. But that's how the cookie crumbles, I'm afraid. Will these guys pit, like, with a few laps to go? That was crazy. Eight laps to go, guys. And we've got... Harry, Miguel, myself, Ryan, and Amy Lloyd in the top five? Some cars have fallen back out of this now. I'm getting really into this. Look at me in the number eight. Go on, son. I must have found some power from somewhere. We've not had a caution since the last caution or since the first caution. Amy, you were in first for so long. So many laps. Then the crash happened. You took the pit too late. Sonic got the pit before you. You went. You fell down to 10th place. But you fighted all your way back from 10th up to 5th. What a drive from yourself. What a drive. Whoever starts, uh, as you know, whatever position you finish in, you 
you're starting opposite in uh, tomorrow's race. So you, f you, f you finish at the front today. You start at the back tomorrow. Miguel Canash is up the front. Lap 54. Six to go. Whose race is this? Check this out. Miguel still leading, but myself coming up to second now. Harry uh, looks like he's losing position. No, he hasn't. He's still in second spot. Amy Lloyd up to fourth. Great driving from the four at the front here. Five to go. There will be four to go when they go over the start-finish line. Are these guys going to pit again, or are they not going to pit? Will they pit at the last minute, though? We've seen this happen before. They have pitted in lap 57, 58 before because they need to finish the race. Will they do it again? Will they run out of fuel? Will their tyres? We've seen cars run out of fuel before on this uh, in this Piston Cup and other Piston and other competitions. We've seen it happen. Will it happen today? Lap 57 about to begin. And Harry goes back into the lead. Takes it from the 1-2-3. Great driving from the 68 today. Amy Lloyd hot on his back door. Amy Lloyd not giving up hope of a win here. She was so close to winning yesterday. Failed. Today, she was at the front for so long. Will this be her time? Will this be her turn? I'm in fourth position. I don't think anything's going to happen with me. Um, Harry is in the lead, but he is going side by side with Amy Lloyd. They are next to each other. This could be it. We are on lap 58. 58. Anything can happen. The fiber fuel car is high up high. The 68 is low, low. Miguel Canash is really, really close to Harry. Anything can happen. I don't think they're going to pit again. I don't think they're going to pit. I think they're going to continue till the end of the race. Or, or is Miguel about to go in? Can he not make the end of the race? Oh, no. Free wide into lap 59. Free wide into lap 59. I am struggling in that number eight. So cars have pitted. Cars have pit. We could see him coming out of pit lane. Now this is going to be crazy if these three pit now. This will be ultimate crazy. We will have the weirdest ending to a race if they all pit on lap 59. When the white flag comes out, will they all be in the pits? Oh no. Who's going to know? And they continue on. White flag, white flag is out, and it is today sponsored by Eric Simmons. White flag sponsored by Eric, and we are into lap 60. It's Harry, it's Amy Lloyd, it's Miguel Canash up at the front, the top three for the second part of this race. Who's gonna get it? We're going to turn three, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be a photo finish. Look at this, three wide, they're like a display team in the air. You cannot get more perfect than that. Who's going to push who? Look at this. It goes to the wire. It looks like Amy. It looks like Amy Lloyd's going to get it. She does. Amy Lloyd wins here at Atlanta. What a finish from the 56. What a race. Wow, what a result. What a result. Wow, that was amazing. Well done, Amy Lloyd. Let's take a look and go back to the end of that race. Let's take a look. Look at this. It was so, so close. Wow. Amy Lloyd goes over. And look at the behind. Look at behind. Miguel. And Harry go neck and neck, second and third. Great racing, guys. Absolutely fantastic. 
Amy Lloyd first, Miguel second, Harry Edwards third, myself fourth, Eric in fifth place. Let's go to the official results. Wow, what a fantastic race from all involved. One caution over four laps. 14 lead changes between eight drivers. And Amy even got the bonus points. She was in the lead for a long time at the beginning of the race. The 56 wins here at, at Atlanta. But she will start at the back of the grid tomorrow. Uh, and it's Juan who will actually start on pole position. Jensen will be in second. So that's good for them. Standing wise, I've gone top for some reason. I have had two top fives though, so that has helped. Uh, <laughs> it's not fixed. Um, Sienna is second, Harry third, Miguel fourth, and Amy Loy Lloyd in fifth spot in the championship. Two of 15 rounds, and unfortunately, someone has to be at the back, and it is T Smith who is at the back. Uh, with Jensen Freddy, unfortunately, that's not good. He will not like that at all. Hopefully, he'll have a good race tomorrow. Tomorrow's race is, of course, Auto Club. Round 3 Auto Club. A bit later than today. It'll be around half 8, 9pm tomorrow night. Uh, so it won't be the same sort of time. So I do apologise. Uh, but it will be tomorrow. And it will be Auto Club Round 3 of the YouTube Cup. I hope you can make it. Fantastic result for Amy. Well done. Congratulations. Happy birthday, Eric. I hope you've enjoyed today's stream. And I hope you come back tomorrow for Round 3. Take care, guys. Have a lovely evening or afternoon and be safe. Have a good one.